QuickBooks versus Wave Accounting. Hi guys, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the difference between QuickBooks and Wave Accounting. So without wasting any more time, here is the video. So firstly, when you come on to Wave Accounting, you will see this dashboard in front of you. From over here, sign up for absolutely free by simply putting in your email and your password or sign up with Google instead if you wanna save some time. Now, once you do that, I will catch you guys in just a second. So once you are signing up, they will ask you these questions like basically put in your first name, your last name and your business name over here as well and also what does your business do. From over here, be honest and choose what your business does because that is what Wave Accounting is going to use to basically develop a custom user interface for you. After that, choose a business country and then click on next. So after that, from the right side, you will be asked these questions, like basically what would you like to do with Wave? So from over here, you can see that we have four options, send professional invoices, manage your accounting, run effortless payroll, and not sure yet. If you're not sure yet, click on simply not sure yet. But if you do know what you're gonna be doing, simply click on that. I'm gonna click on manage your accounting and then simply from over here, answer these questions. How do you currently manage your accounting? Click on I do it manually or whichever way you do it right now. Do you currently work with a bookkeeper or accountant? Click on yes or click on no, depending upon what you do. Similarly, answer all these questions and then click on get started with Wave Accounting. So once you have completed that, you will be able to see the dashboard of Wave Accounting itself. So firstly, they're gonna give you a couple of options. Like if you want to import data automatically from a spreadsheet, you can do that over here too. If you want to like do manual transaction and manage all the transactions, you can do so using this one. And then if you want to add sales tax, customize accounts, hire an expert, or do any of that crazy stuff, well then you can definitely do that too. From the left side, you can see a lot of different features like their dashboard, their sales, their purchase tracking, the main accounting department, the banking section, the payroll section, the report section, and the web advisors as well if you are paying for that. So let's start off with the dashboard. Clicking on the dashboard reveals a new page. So from over here, you can see all the things that you can do with Wave Accounting. Now guys, make sure to keep all these things in mind because later on in this video, I'm gonna be showing you QuickBooks as well. So make sure you understand everything till now so that you could compare QuickBooks better with Wave Accounting. So over here, you can see that you will be able to track the cash flow the cash coming in and going out of your business from over here in the form of a graph, all the profit and loss, the net income, the expense breakdown, the payable and owing, like everything that you could possibly need for your business is gonna be visible right in front of your eyes whenever you open up Wave Accounting in the morning, in the night, whenever you are free. At the left side, clicking on sales is gonna reveal a list of options that are available. We have estimates, we have invoices, recurring invoices, checkouts, payments, customer statements, customers, products and services, and like so much more in all these categories. I'm gonna click on invoices and that is from where we are gonna start from. So when you click on invoices from over here, simply take a look at these things. So basically now what you can do is that you can essentially create an invoice, a brand new invoice for all your clients. So clicking on the top right button, create an invoice is gonna let you create an invoice. And then from over here, you can simply like, you know, drag and drop your logo here or you can simply add a customer, add anything that you want, add a quantity, add a price, add the name, the description, the total amount, and then also the invoice number, the PO number, and also you can edit your business details as well if you want to make any changes. And then after that, simply click on save and continue and your invoice is gonna be created. So guys, that is how you can create invoices using Wave Accounting. Now on the left side, you can even see that they have recurring invoices. Now guys, recurring invoices are basically invoices Invoices that are gonna be scheduled for like delivery later on like for example you can like schedule these invoices to be sent at the first of every single month so guys like that is how recurring invoices can really help you like you know keep track of your customers and this is a very nice feature that wave accounting offers then you have customer statements the payments and the checkouts as well but all those options are pretty basic the main things are the invoices and like the basic overall presentation of all your data that is going to help you like you know keep track of your whole company from the left side and now if you were to click on accounting we can see all the accounting features that they have they can show you all the transactions like in the transactions you will see like basically all the transactions that you do you can even upload your bank statement you can add manual transactions 
or you can even like do some reconciliation and you can even have a chart of accounts or you can even hire a bookkeeper through wave accountings on a system as well they are going to give you a bookkeeper that is going to keep track of every single thing that you do every single expense and everything that you could possibly need so like that is a very very nice thing that they offer from the left side and now you can click on banking from over there you will see all the accounts that you've connected to wave accounting and then similarly below that you have your payroll all your employees the time sheets the payroll transactions the taxes the tax forms like all that complicated stuff which i'm not gonna explain in this video because then the video would be like you know two hours long but i really want to keep this video straight to the point so that no time of yours goes to waste so guys like by now you must know about all the features that wave accounting offers now the last thing is the tax filling they even help you filing your taxes as to like basically how you want to file your tax and everything like that so like that is a very nice features that i do not think quickbook offers so guys this was wave accounting now you understand it let's move on to quickbooks so guys quickbooks is another amazing application similarly click on a free 30-day trial from over here and then after that you can see how you want to start which trial you want to get they basically have three plans the first plan that they have is basically a one dollar per month plan and then after that they have another plan which is two dollars per month and then another plan for three dollars per month now paying this amount like the more you pay the more money you will make essentially in a sense that like basically you will get more features more tracking and more forecast and above all more information because guys, the more information you have, the better you can keep track of your team. So now click on any one of these features. I'm going to click on this one, the middle one, and I'm going to click on free 30 day trial. Now, once I do that, that is going to take me over to their sign up page. So now from over here, fill out this complete form. And then after that, click on start free trial. Now, once you do that, I'm going to catch you guys in just a second. So over here, they will ask you these questions like your legal business name. I'm going to type in some information right in front of you guys. So you guys know exactly how everything works. So I'm going to like answer all these questions. And then after that, I'm going to click on industry and then I'm going to choose basically what industry am I from. Click on next again. And then after that, wait for a couple of seconds and then basically choose what would you like to do in QuickBooks. So I want to like basically send and track invoices, organize my expenses, track my sales tax, track my retail sales and also pay my employees, manage my inventory and track my bills. Basically everything. Click on all set. And then that is going to take you over to their main starting page. So here we have the main dashboard of a QuickBooks. So now what you can do is that you can from over here do a lot of things. Like for example, you can add customers, add estimates, add invoices, receive payments, add bills, pay bills, and track your time as well. This is what I really like about QuickBooks. They basically like, you know, put everything right in front of you and you can simply like get started without like, you know, going to any other menus. So for now, let's say you want to create an invoice. Click on add invoice and then after that, wait for a couple of seconds and then their invoice page is going to load up in front of you. So once their invoice page loads up, you can see that they have a lot of fields right in front of you and you can simply fill these out and you have yourself an invoice. Firstly, they have the customer field, the customer's email, the billing address, the terms, the invoice date, the due date, the product name, description, the quantity, the rate, the amount, and also some more fields if you want to add some more messages. And then after that, uh, click on save and send or click on save if you want to save it locally. So that is how you can create an invoice. Now, if you want to receive a payment, similarly, click on receive payments and then you will have a receiving payment invoice option. And then you can simply fill this out and then you will be able to receive payments as well. Similarly, you can add bills, pay bills, add customers by simply clicking on add customer. And then after that, wait for a couple of seconds. And now from over here, simply fill this out and then your customer is gonna be added. So like basically you will need their mobile number, the phone number, the billing address, the company, the display name and everything. And you will be all good to go. Now, taking a look at the left side, you can see some more options like their expenses, 
their banking, their dashboard, their employees, their reports, the taxes, accounting, and so much more. Similarly, if I were to open up taxes and accounting and like basically employees and expenses, these are gonna look very, very similar to like how they looked on with accounting, but QuickBooks is missing some major features like basically recurring invoices, like those are really, really important. And then some more as well when you compare it to with accounting, like basically with advice advisors, tax filing and everything like they basically miss these features and I think that these features are a must if you have a big business in accounting. So after that we can see like they have their accounting features, they have their employees features. Similarly you can add employees by clicking on the right side and then simply adding an employee and then you can even like track your expenses over here by simply connecting your bank or adding expenses manually so like all these features are, are available over here but wave accounting has just a couple more features that really make it better but then again it is all up to you whichever platform you can afford it is a good to go so guys like that was basically the difference between wave accounting and quickbooks and if you guys have any more questions for me make sure to leave them down in the comments down below and i will be sure to answer them all as well and thank you so much for watching make sure to smash that like button subscribe till next time goodbye